Joining me right now is Professor Manuel Hassassian. He's the former Palestinian envoy to the UK. Uh, good afternoon to you, Manuel. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, I want to ask you just first of all about the hostages and the concern. 199, that number's gone, gr risen higher and higher uh, over the last uh, 10 days, are being held by Hamas. Uh, we believe in, in Gaza, we possibly believe underground in that uh, whole network of, of tunnels under the, the city of Gaza and elsewhere. Um, what do you think the chances are that any or all of those hostages will be returned safe and well? I think if Israel stops its carnage and its genocide over Gaza, killing, you know, innocent civilians, bombarding, you know, all kinds of buildings, infrastructure, 800 babies have been killed. I think once that stops, I think the question of the hostages will be solved. I think the hostages will return safely after the bombing stops. And that's how things happen when the war ends. We talk about political solutions and hostages, exchanges and what have you. Okay. So, uh, we I'm, a little, hope I'm a little bit confused we... because you're saying that, so, so the, the hostages were taken and, and then we had the retaliation from, uh, from Israel. And if they stop their retaliation, then those hostages will be returned, you think. Um, those hostages weren't taken as a result of a missile. Israel wasn't throwing missiles in and bombarding Gaza City. Uh, before the 7th of October. I mean, yes, I know there have been retaliatory attacks. We've seen but missiles coming out from Hamas. Um, why on earth do you think that people who would go into Israel territory after years of planning and send, was it 2,000 men in to massacre 1,400 people, taking elderly you know, grandmothers, families, women, children, even toddlers and babies hostage? Why do you think they will suddenly act, oh, as, you know, as, as if they're part of the United Nations returning those people? Well, actually, you have negated 75 years of oh, occupation by Israel. And all these happenings for the last 75 years of uh, building settlements, killing people, uh, imposing curfews, uh, building settlements and what have you, has not been factored in the analysis why Hamas has taken such a stand. OK, now, I'm just, I just want to clarify. I, mean, I don't mean to interrupt, sir, but are, we know that we know there's a long history. We know that there are there are there are some very questionable actions on both sides over this. I'm not sitting here as a cheerleader for everything the Israeli governments have done over the years. That's not my job. But are you saying that the actions of Israel over the past 75 years justify what Hamas did? on the 7th of October? Because you seem the to be... Ma'am, it's not a question of justification. So you're saying we it does or it violence. doesn't? Can you just give me we a straight answer? Not, does it? We are... I'm answering you. We are not justifying what Hamas has done. Okay. What we're saying is what Hamas has done is the accumulation of continuous oppression of the Palestinian people, especially in Gaza, when for the last 16 years have been living under an open-air concentration camp it's with no medical camp. supplies and what have you, with no food and the imposition. Well, look well, at, clearly look they at have the food and clearly they have medical the supplies. And so the we've, we've been seeing footage people. from hospitals. People are alive, so they must have been having food. OK, here's the thing. This is the bit I don't understand is how does Hamas breaking into Australia, invading Israeli territory and slaughtering all those people in the the most gruesome way, the footage that is arriving, putting it on Facebook, putting it, you know, putting it all over social media proudly, and the most horrific barbaric attack. How has that helped the people of Gaza? How has that helped the Palestinian people? Well, first of all, Hamas does not represent the entire Palestinian people. They I didn't are say part they of did. the Palestinian but, people. But you're saying I'm that Hamas saying... acted the way they did as a result of Israel's treatment of them to so protect the, entire the Israel, Palestinian, Palestinian people. people. 2. How 2 did that help people. the Palestinian people? The 2.2 million people have to pay all this because of what Hamas has done. Is this a fair explanation of the situation? It's the you, question of Hamas attacking and the end result of the destruction of Gaza with killing so thousands of Palestinians. This is not included in the equation when you try to analyze why Hamas has done what they have could done. Could you answer my Nobody question, wants sir. violence. Could you ask, I, I mean, you can get to all those points, but could you answer the actual question I asked you? How was what, what, the, what Hamas did, that massacre of 1,400 Israelis, largely civilians, young, old, babies, how did that help the people of Palestine? What was the purpose of that in terms of helping the people of Gaza? 
it's 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 not a question of helping the people of Gaza. It's a retaliation. Then? It's an action and reaction to what Israel has been doing and for what the last the, What did Hamas years. think the reaction of Israel would be to that? Well, I mean, you know, if somebody if somebody plans something, they have to bear the consequences. So it was factored in that definitely Israel is going to attack civilians. And attacking civilians is not justifiable. The way they are attacking and killing people in Gaza, decimating an entire nation. Now, we are talking about moving 1.1 million towards the mm -hmm. south. And now Israel today started bombarding Rafah and Khan Yunis. I, and I believe the Israel, Israelis have denied the that they are bombing the southern Gaza. But I don't have person. I cannot verify either side's information on that at this point. The thing is, OK, so Hamas acted. The Hamas, have been you're saying today. Hamas's massacre was a reaction to Israeli treatment of the people of Gaza over all these last few decades. And it was totally predictable and predicted that Israel's reaction would be the bombardment of Gaza. Um, the reality is, as you know perfectly well, there's a big difference um, morally, ethically, in war, in law, between killing civilians who are there, if, uh, as awful phrase, but the phrase people use, collateral damage, and deliberately targeting civilians, as Hamas has done. Hamas deliberately puts their, their supplies, as far as their missiles, from built-up civilian areas from apartment buildings, from hospitals, from schools. They know that they are putting their own citizens in harm's way. Have they not brought that on themselves? This is, this is basically the propaganda of the West. Well, it's bitch bits untrue. How many, how, many, how many Palestinian militants, you know, have been killed now by Israel? I don't know. But Can thousands of innocent civilians have been killed. Look at the carnage. You're showing the pictures. Is that because the militants are all underground in that network of tunnels that they built while they uh, need civilians on if, ground? De 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 definitely, they are underground. And I tell you what, if Israel thinks by bombarding and killing all, all the Palestinians in Gaza, they are going to get rid of Hamas, they are totally wrong. Because let, us, let them show us how many of Hamas have been killed in this uh, wage of war, except destruction of the whole city of Gaza, the whole, this, what we call the prison that these people have been living for the last 16 years. What the end result of this? Why can't we move one level forward and see that what Israel is doing is not going to solve the question of Hamas, and it is not justifiable to decimate an entire nation of 2.2 million people by saying that we are safeguarding and we are trying to support the people of Israel. Isn't this... Look, today the Americans are afraid. They're coming to the Mediterranean to circumvent any kind of regional developments on the military level. Because if Israel continues the way it is killing the Palestinians and, and what is happening today in Gaza, definitely regional war is inevitable. And what, is, is that what does Hamas Israel wants? gain out of this? This is the question. What does Israel gain out of this? Well, I don't think Israel's gaining very much at all. I think they just want to have their land secure. I'm asking what Hamas gains, what do the Palestinian people secure, gain? You know as well as I do that we have seen Israel normalise their relations occupied, with many Arab they, states. They occupied, there was likely to be a, a, a deal done with Saudi Arabia. That was the last thing that, that Hamas, Hezbollah, Iran wanted. That was what was on the cards. Life has been normalised. Now, now what, what, is, what, is, what does Hamas gain by this? As the occupier and the Israelis as the occupied. Poor uh, Israelis want normalization, they want security, but they're killing everyday Palestinians in the West Bank, seizing their lands, building settlements. These are not considered nor factored in your analysis. You're talking as if we are living, you know, in a, in a luxurious world no, in the West Bank or in Gaza. And Israel is seeking peace and security. For I'm, I'm not. I, I disapprove of some civilians. of those settlements. No, but this is, this is what the international community is portraying through the biased media you know, against the Palestinians. You're not looking at the Palestinians' I'm, I'm not, side I'm not biased against the Palestinians at all. you're looking only at what Hamas has done. I have no bias against the, the Palestinians. Israelis as being justified. But to what Manuel, Hamas has done. I simply want to know, what did Hamas think they were going to do for the benefit of I the Palestinian people? I don't know what Hamas people? thinks. I can't go into the minds of Hamas. But I they don't knew that they Hamas. knew I this would happen. The Palestinian they authority. knew this would happen. And the Palestinian Authority for the last 30 years have been telling you Please let us have the two-state solution. President Hamas Abbas don't for the want last three years was solution. warning the Hamas West want that Israel. the escalation in the West Bank and in Gaza is going to trigger a massive war. And this okay. is the end result of it. Okay. Because, you know, the West is not listening to what the 
the sound of reason coming out from our leadership and the end result just you have to deal with hamas that's that's Okay, just a final question. Can I ask you just a really simple question? It's a question I put to a lot of my, my, my guests who say that what Israel is doing is unacceptable, it's a war crime, etc., etc. What would have been, given the massacre of 1,400 largely civilians, Israelis, on the 7th of October, what do you believe is a proportionate response? What would have been an acceptable, reasonable response from Israel to that? Killing the entire 2.2 million people. No, you clearly don't think that. So what would be a reasonable response? No, no, no. Response? Because, because this is what Israel is doing. Still no, no, bombarding. that wasn't what I asked you. Thousands what do you, of people are being killed. You think, you think that what Israel is doing aggression. is not right? So what would be... I, I find it extraordinary. If you know that this is the wrong response, what do you believe would be the correct response, the reasonable the correct, moral the response? The correct response is to kill all the Palestinians by yes. Israel. You're just sticking to one side of the story. I'm, and I'm the asking other. a question. Why and don't I'm you answer the question? You. you don't want to and answer I'm the question. You, you, you don't want to answer Hamas, the question. Why, why won't you answer you that question? I'm answering you that Hamas has responded to 16 years of embargo and siege and what have you. Uh, answer is the it question. right or wrong? This is up to you. But this is a, a natural reaction for people under occupation. What would be the reasonable, proportionate response from a state who's had 1,400 uh, people killed in a massacre by Hamas? What should they have done? If you were running the Israeli government and you wanted to act in the moral way, what would you do at this point? Would you invite everyone from Hamas to tea? What are you, what are you suggesting? I ask the Israeli one simple question. Did they finish Hamas with their onslaught now? Or still thousands of Palestinians have to be killed before they claim victory over Hamas. Where is the international conscience? How do you expect? I mean, you are justifying Israel to continue with killing, 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 killing. This is the international community. You're just watching us being killed and maimed. No food, no electricity, and nothing. I've and been you're raising that about concern the 1400 for, for two that weeks Hamas now has killed or whatever. Yeah. You're, you're not going to answer my question. We'll, we'll give up. Um, Professor Manuel Hassassian, um, former Palestinian envoy to the UK, I appreciate you joining us. I wish you'd answered some of the questions I asked you, but... I, no, I, I answered all the questions, but, uh, but uh, the, question, the answers are not uh, really in the light of uh, your questions because you were directing the questions would... only towards Hamas. OK, all unfortunately. right. Unfortunately. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate that.